So hey there guys, welcome to a video titled Helping Me Help You, where I solve some of the most common pocket mine issues that you guys have been having with your pocket mine servers. So let's get right into it. So yo yo guys, how's it going? It's me, your boy Techno T. And in today's video, I'm going to be resolving a lot of the problems that you guys have been having when setting up your pocket mine or even Nukedex server. Now this video was primarily going to be used to resolve some of the more common issues. So if there is an issue that I do not cover, please message me on Discord and I might be able to help you guys out. But other than that, that's going to be that. Also uh, hit this like button and hit that subscribe button guys. Thank you guys for helping me reach. 120 subs that's been amazing also i just want to say this is the last upload for wednesday as of right now i'm only sticking to saturdays and my upload schedule is saturday 10 a.m pacific daylight time let's just get right into the video so the first thing to fix is a lot of you guys have been getting errors where you can't join in your server or your server isn't appearing at all so there could be a couple of issues one could be your port forwarding maybe you didn't port forward correctly but most commonly people are joining their server with the same pc that the server is running on you cannot play on your server with the pc that is running your server so that is mostly the biggest issue some people were able to connect some people weren't able to but for a majority it's not possible so have your server run on a different machine open up minecraft on your phone or a different windows pc and see if you can join in. If not, then it's a port forwarding issue, which I will cover later. Second is, I always recommend that you guys have a wired connection. So even if you do have a laptop, make sure it is a wired connected PC. So make sure you grab an ethernet cable, plug it into your laptop if possible, because this will fix a lot of the timeout issues that a lot of us have been getting here. So make sure you do it from a stable wired connection. That always helps. The last thing that I have to say is port forwarding. There has been a couple of differences. So I have noticed that for some routers, it's exactly like how I explain it in the port forwarding video, but for other routers, it's a little bit different. And if you have a router like this, please look on screen right here. So under the advanced tab, as you can see, I'm using a different router here. I was using my TrendNet router that I had. So if you see right here, once you click on the advanced tab, there is something called port triggering, but that's not what we want. However, there is an option called virtual server. And as you can see, I set it up right here. So you can see Minecraft protocol, TCP, WAN port, LAN port, and then IP address is your IP address, of course. Make sure to hit apply changes. And then from there, you wanna do exactly the same thing, but change the protocol to UDP and apply the changes. So by the time you're done, you should have two servers with the only difference being their protocols. Every other piece of information stayed the same, except for the protocols. That's where we changed it up. If you run into a timeout issue, this can resolve mm -hmm. this issue. I've realized that this works with a couple of routers, and I know there's a couple of routers that do do this. So if this is your sort of router, then this might actually fix your port forwarding problems, and this may actually be the solution to them. And also the next question that I get is how do I update Pocketmine? Well, that's actually a good question. Easiest way to update Pocketmine is to go to the Pocketmine official page and get the Pocketmine.far. Make sure your Pocketmine.far doesn't say Pocketmine.far and then in parentheses one or two because you may have downloaded it multiple times because if you drag it in there, it won't replace the other far file. So basically it needs to be pocketmine.far exactly and you need to drag it in and when you drag it in it should ask you to copy and replace. So make sure you do that or else you might run into some issues with your pocketmine not running or saying there's a new version or you not being able to join your server. So that's a couple of the common issues there and I hope this video helped. This is just a quick little video helping you guys solve any of the most common pocketmine issues. If I did not cover your issue please leave it down in the video description below. And also, before I leave this video, I just wanted to say, see you guys on Saturday for my Pure Perms plugin review that is coming very, very soon. So stay tuned. I'll catch y'all in the next one. See you guys.